What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 6.1.3 for the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and iPod Touch 4th generation. As of right now, this is a semi tether, and we're only limited to that for now. So you're going to need two things. You're going to need Red Snow for Mac or Windows. I'm going to, I'm going to be running on the Mac, and you're going to need your iOS 6.0 firmware. Now, you're not going to be, you're not going to be using iOS 6.1.3, so instead we're going to use 6.0. So once you have these two downloaded, you want to go ahead and open up Red Snow. All right, familiar window. You want to go ahead and click on Extras. Go to select IPSW and then select the 6.0 firmware update. So once you've got that, it's going to say Identified. Click OK. Go back and then click on Jailbreak. All right. Want to go ahead and make sure install CD is connected or selected. Once you get that, make sure your iDevice is connected and turned off. So now we're going to begin uh, our DFU mode prog progress. Alright, so we're going to try again. I've been having difficulty doing this with one hand and showing how you how to do this. So let's go ahead and click on next. Hold down the power button for three seconds, then the home button for another ten seconds. Alright, release the power button and keep holding on to the home button. Alright. Now on rest now it should be waiting for reboot. Alright, if you can try to focus here. Alright, we get that wall of text. Everything seems to be going good. So we're going to go ahead and let go of the home button, lay this down for a second, and go back to our computer, which now says that the tether jailbreak for this device is currently tethered. Okay, that's fine. So on Retina, I should say it's already done. So let's go ahead and click on quit. So now we're done with our computer. All right. Once that's done, you can now go to your home screen, but you'll notice that you don't have Presida yet. So now what you have to do is turn off your iDevice and go back into DFU mode. We're going to go back into our computer and pretty much do the same thing we did before. So let's go back to our computer. And we again turned it off. We're going to go ahead and go into Red Snow, go to Extras, and then just select Just Boot. Alright, but uh, before we do that, make sure we select the IPSW again, just to be sure. Alright, so go ahead and just boot, make sure your iDevice is turned off, and we're ready to go. I'm not going to film the DFU mode this time, because it took me a while the first time, so you pretty much get the drift. So, hold down the power button for 3 seconds, hold down the home button for another 10 seconds. Alright, let go of the power button and keep holding on to the home button for another 15 seconds. Alright, let's be patching files. Exploding with Lime Rain. Waiting for reboot. Alright. Open the first stage, second stage, waiting for reboot. So, right now, you should be seeing a pineapple logo. And on Red Snow should be uh, done, so let's go ahead and quit it out and finally end on the. So as you can see here, we got the pineapple logo. Gonna wait for it to boot up again. So keep in mind you have to do this every single time you reboot. So if you're on your primary phone, I suggest you don't do this. No SIM card found. That's fine. Or installed. All right, switch over. It's kind of laggy a bit. There we go. We got Cydia. Alright, user. Done. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you jailbreak iOS 6.1.3. It is still a semi tethered, so you're going to have to use Retina every time you reboot your device and keep doing the DFU mode. So I hope, you, hope this video helped you guys. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any more questions, post a comment. And if you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe. Thanks.